legs don't work cause your booty all sore And I can't keep on beating your meat What? <laughs> <laughs> Will your mouth still remember the taste of my nuts? I love you Kyle, this is me as a girl <laughs> Kyle, it's just a filter! Get off me! Look, dude, I don't mean to be homophobic, but I'm just saying the LGBTQ plus community, kind of gay. Jason, you are dating a man. I'm just saying, bro. Heard about this hanger thing that it makes your head move? All right, let's see if it's true, fool. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. oh. Look at you scrawny ass. Too weak to tickle your own pickle. Are you offering to help? Yeah. <clears throat> well, no, I... Fuck you. Oh, I'm only asking you to give me a hand. I'm my type. But I could be. Bet you couldn't. What's your type? Redhead. I am downstairs. Bad shit crazy. Check. Pack of nine inches. <laughs> All right, men, this is Harry the homosexual. Say hi to everyone, Harry. Hi, fellas. I sure do love being gay. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're going to beat him up for it. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No, no, don't use them like that either. All right, look, just put them down and use your fists. No, 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 not like... Moved in with three gay roommates. I'm the only non-gay guy living there. But my friend's like, what if they turn you gay, bro? Uh, roommates, not vampires, dumbass. <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? Like, they just show up in my room late at night? <laughs> <laughs> like, who are you? I'm Fagula. <laughs> I'm the gay vampire. <laughs> what do you want from me? I want to suck your you-know-what. <laughs> Holding a cute guy's hand after the bar. I know you remember oh, me. Shit, from the bar. Oh, Gary, my lover, my friend. The day I penetrated your virgin hole oh. was the best day of my life. And we may not be leaving this earth at the same time, but at least we came together. Help me understand this. Why is it okay for y'all to munch on each other's pussies? Go be gay for two weeks, then go back and get with your baby daddy. Or, you know, let your best friend munch on your pussy a little bit because it's a little secret. Y'all don't want nobody to know. But soon as your baby daddy go get some dick, he a fag. Why don't the rules apply for y'all? Why is it not as disgusting to y'all as it is a man getting in his ass? Please help me understand that this morning. What's going on? Hey, men are vicious sometimes. You got to be careful, especially if you have like a very controversial opinion around them. You know what I mean? What do you mean you don't like Padam? Eh, better than getting attacked by a bear, you know? Much better. You just got to deal with all the hair, but at least they're lean. You could take an otter. I could take an otter. Best case scenario, though, you get attacked by a twink. You know, what are they going to do? You just blow at them and they're, they're knocked down. Throw a bottle of Rush. All right, this was a very niche joke. I hope it reaches the gay men. See ya. How straight people eat an onion roll. Hmm, that's a pretty good onion roll. How gay people eat an onion roll. Hmm. That's a pretty good onion roll, but I'm gay. So it's a very important game tomorrow. How are you going to play against Paris tomorrow? Very erotic voice, by the way. That's <laughs> later. <laughs> it was, uh, Congratulations. <laughs> wow. Which <laughs> again, please. <laughs> hey, bro, you trying to go eat? I'm trying to eat your ass. <laughs>
Yo, you need a ride? Yeah, I need you to ride me. <laughs> Yo, pass me the ball. Which ones? Dude, it's raining so hard outside. I'm so wet. You are? I'm gonna take a shower, bro. Without me? Yeah, and then she was like, she'd rather have two guys instead Just of- shut up and kiss me. When they say you can do it, do it twice and take pictures. Check out the, uh, the ranks of everyone. <laughs> um, anyways, um- Is it possible to actually be verse? Is it possible to be verse? <laughs> Do you know what that means, Rob? Oh, what's verse? All right, gather around. So um, you might want to play some music under this while I explain it to you. Oh, Rob, let me explain the bees and the bees to you. When two men love each other, or just know each other, or don't even know each other. One person puts their penis in the other One person says, flower! <laughs> so the one who put his penis in one That's called the top The one who said, flower! Is me, uh I wish you were gay so we can make out <laughs> it is the bottom, but when you're verse on your grinder profile, we all know you're lying. <laughs> but again, when you're verse, you like to do do both. Thank you. Okay. Why, why did I do this? You'll be like, where was that love that we felt in the beginning? You know, or right. that I felt in the beginning. Again, yeah, sure. like people say, uh, in the beginning, you can't keep your hands off. Of exactly. Exactly. Well, that's never really been an issue for us. We don't ever touch. But that's marriage for you. Oh. Oh, um, but you, you guys still have sex, right? Maybe year 24 will be our year. Uh, I mean, you guys get it. The wife is like, I want to touch you and hug you and kiss you 24-7. And the husband is like, get away from me. What are you doing in my bedroom? No matter how long you're together, you'll feel alone and depressed and wonder every day if your spouse even loves you. And you'll find yourself asking, what if my whole life has been a lie? And what if society were different where I could just be myself and accept it and not do things that make me feel like a horrible person? But you got to keep chasing that rush because life is awful. I mean, if this dude was trying to wine and dine me at the Cheesecake Factory, I might end up strangling his cock in my bosom. I would be appreciative. Like, it's not- Men don't get as much recognition during the pregnancy as the women. Like, my wife got all the recognition. As soon as she started showing, people would just come and rub her stomach. Say, oh, well done. <laughs> not one person, not even a close friend ever came up to me. Well done. <laughs> Look at this man clapping over here. You know what I'm talking about, sir? I will rub you after the show. Right? Just... Hey, dude, do you want to go out for a run? Yeah. Dude, we should definitely stretch before we run. Don't want to catch a cramp. Alright, let's do it. Hey, dude, can you hurry up and use the shower? I'm trying to shower too. Yeah, my room's off. Alright. Hey, dude, do you want to play Fortnite? Dude, not calling you. It's babe or baby. Yes, daddy. I'm gonna go and make one thing clear. You're messing with Scott, you're messing with me. Damn right. Cause we're boys. Hell yeah. We're friends. Yep. Yeah. We boyfriends. Nigga, what? We're boys and we are friends. Oh, there you go, hell yeah. So we boyfriends. No, no, no. And nobody better mess with my boyfriend. No. Yeah. I was texting this guy and I didn't reply to one of his messages right away. He hit me with a second message that just said, make haste. <laughs> Like, hey, are you texting me from Camelot? Like, what? <laughs> but he was direct, so I had him back. <laughs> I was like, bro, come over hither. Like, 
Like, I'm trying to bequeath you. Like, <laughs> I'm down to joust, dog. Let's do it. Like, I am uh, 73 years old. Life expectancy for men is 76 years. Life expectancy for women is 81 years. I figure if I transition. All my straight friends act like we can't be straight males in this world, be best friends with gay gentlemen. So they say these things to me all the time, like your gay roommate, he's hitting on you, I know it. Man, and every time I hear that, I just want to slap the shit out of him for saying that because uh, of course that motherfucker's hitting on me. Come on now, all this sexual chocolate walk around the house, man. 240 pounds of it, man. Gay dudes are tight, man. They, man, like, we, I go to the gay bars with them, man. That's just tight. But like, they, man, they can hit on you without you even knowing it. So we're in a bar, right? And this dude grabs me by my shoulder, right? And he turns me into him and looks me up and down and goes, why are you yelling at me? It's like a reward. And I looked at him like, shit. <laughs> I didn't say nothing to you. <laughs> and then he, he goes, oh, oh, sorry, actually, <laughs> you weren't yelling at me, but your eyes are. What the fuck? Talk about the sweetest shit I ever heard, man. My eyes were yelling at him in a sexual way. I didn't know they could do that, man. That's tight. It's so embarrassing to be alive. It really is. And everyone looks at you and you're like, I'm looking at you too, but why are you looking at me? Why'd you pick the jockstrap? I used to wrestle. And so uh, it kind of like gave me like that whole fantasy, kind of that moment of like, ooh, the, the coach is hot. You oh, know? okay. So like it kind of so like- it's your coach fantasy? It's kind of coach fantasy, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been called coach many times. Only I'll be your star player. I actually have a present for you. What? I do. No, you don't. I do. Uh, yeah. What? We're right in the middle of the night, you know. Oh, really? Oh, shit, actually. <laughs> it... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I have yours. You have mine. That was really thoughtful. I've been thinking about your jock trap nonstop. <laughs> Why? Also because I have a black pair as well, so you can have my black pair, we'll switch. I like that. This is where the ghoul kids roll. Mm. What the hell is even that? Hey, yo, bro, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, what well, would you do for free training? I'm like, dude. What did he say? Oh. Alright, alright. Noche, Juan, pero tengo luz eléctrica, gracias a Dios. Ahora, fuera de ahí! Fuera de ahí! Fuera de ahí! Fuera! Los perros me tienen podrido, Juan. A symbol. This is gay. We're gay. I don't think I'm this gay. Okay, go, 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 go. That's crazy. Where say you gay? Justin, let me tell you about that. Why are you touching him like that? Is Grandma okay? Mom, why are you tripping? I mean, no. I have friends over. 
No. Like, you act like I can have friends over or something. I mean, I would get some sheets out for him. No. Sleep with no clothes on his no. that shit. But I know what I fucking saw, Justin. I know what I fucking saw. Oh. Mom. No. 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 <gülüyor> Aa, Salih paran düştü. Acaba verir misin ya? Abi sinyal abi. Gay. You know, seeing you be so courageous inspires me, Sally, to confess something of my own. Oh, really? Fellas, I... Good. I'm gay, too. <gasps> I was doodling when I realized this isn't a star. You are gay. Feel. I mean, okay, two for two now, right? Yes. <laughs> it makes me feel great that my best friend James has come out of the closet. That's the reason I brought him here today. You see, I'm not gay, but I knew if I said I was gay, he'd admit that he was gay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow. You okay? I feel kind of stressed again. Dude, I'm not like your personal stress toy. Okay. <clears throat> I see you next time. Hey babe, how's your day? It was good. Some guy called me cute today though. Well, can't blame him. He's right. Aw, thanks for not being jealous, babe. I'll see you later today. Okay, babe. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't know why I just lied. I am gonna hurt you. I guess I was just trying to comfort you, but that's not why we're here, is it? <laughs> but you must have known at some level that this was going to happen. No? You see, this is why I'm against public education. They try to lie to you and tell you that the devil doesn't exist until you encounter a demon and you're so unprepared. Well, before we start, I do have one question I'd like to ask. What's your favorite organ? You see, if you were to ask me, I always say the heart, but if I started there, the fun would be over too quick, wouldn't it? So I always like to suggest, I'm open to other suggestions, of course, that we start from the bottom and work our way up. Of course, I'm going to start with your manhood, because that's what, that's how we got into this shabokul, isn't it? But then maybe the epididymis after, maybe a kidney here and there. Don't worry, I've done this before. You'll be awake through the whole shebang. I have enough blood and adrenaline to keep you awake. But I do have another question. Am I cute? I lost my grandmother very recently, and I'm so grateful for this video. Something that's been plaguing me since we lost her is the fact that I'm going to see all my hot cousins at her funeral and not be able to seduce them. Unfortunately, we're not cremating her, so I'm not going to be able to get the flecks of ashes on my body like I wanted to. I thought I could really highlight different parts of my chiseled shoulders a little bit, but alas, <laughs> the Lord doesn't always work in ways that we would like him to. <laughs> so I'm really excited to implement the tips provided by this video. I know it's what she would have wanted, and I'm just really grateful for the opportunity to keep her memory alive. I was at the bar and I heard these guys arguing whether or not trans people should be allowed into the military. You guys think they should? Yes. yes. I think they totally should. I, I'm, I totally agree. Just like a, you know. But I think you gotta be careful because you can't really want them into the military. You know. You can't be like, I think we should send them all to Iraq. You have to be like, no. If they would like to, then no. Hmm. Something's old. <laughs> And this issue is actually a personal one for me because my brother is actually trans. And a lot of people don't even know what that means. They're like, so you have a sister? It means no. I, it means I had a sister, now I have a brother. Which is cool, right? But it kind of sucked because now when we fuck, it's gay. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sally. 
So Target already has some of their Christmas decorations out and I feel like I should stop for a moment as a doctor and give a small PSA. Do not put this where it doesn't belong. Do not put this where it doesn't belong. While we're at it, don't put this where it doesn't belong. And this, don't put this where it doesn't belong. Do me a favor and don't put this where it doesn't belong. Or this, or even this little one. I don't care that this is ribbed. Do not put this where it doesn't belong. Not this, not this. Don't even think about it. Definitely not, you'll get a splinter. I just know, you'll get a splinter. Anyways, happy holidays, stay safe out there. Don't put things where they don't belong. Please, please. There are things that belong there, not those. Queen. What is the, how's it pronounced? A? The Hago. The cum face, basically. Okay. Da, da, da. That, that's the other one. <laughs> that's the other one. Okay. I'm dominant. You're dominant? Yes. What? I'm daddy. You're daddy. Uh -huh. yeah. Did that hurt? Daddy. I'm daddy. I fuck girls with strap-ons. This is what makes me more dominant. I would fuck a guy. You date men or women? Oh, I'm so, so, so attracted to men. I feel like my masculine energy is higher than most men's masculine energy. Like even in bed, I would literally and fuck you until you were doubting your sexuality. I turned them basically gay, so I fucked him until he became gay or something. I swear to God. I was flirting with this guy and he was like, hey, do you want to come over and play with my pup? And I was like, Oh my God, like, I love animals. So I was like, yeah, of course, like, um, what kind, like, what does he look like? And he was like, oh, he's a twink. And I was like, he must be a Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> what are you looking at? Nice dog collar. Thanks. I like your shirt. Hey, do we have math class together? No, but I think we do have chemistry. I don't take chem- Something that you never told your parents. I didn't tell them I like, like three dudes one time. Whoa! I watched. He was there, he's present. Proof. You didn't stop it. No, I was like, hey, it. you let the man do what the man want to do. <laughs> Oh, so amazing. It's perfect. Yeah. Love your hair. Oh. You want to take me for a ride in your vet? I don't really feel like it. Hey, Chris, want to take me for a ride in your vet? Sure. <laughs> What? I'm down here, babe. You cheating on me? What are you talking about? I want you to take me from behind and you say be there later tonight, baby. Do you think I'm stupid? What is that? You must think I'm stupid. You don't even try to hide it naming your side piece cum dumpster. How dumb are you? Cum dumpster. Oh, no, no, that's John. What? Cum dumpster is John. Yeah, nice try. What about uh, my girlfriend is leaving soon? Want to come over and hop on? Yeah, hop on. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, well, if I was stranded on a deserted island and could only bring one thing to survive, I'd bring you so I could eat that ass. Oh, shit, that is John. Yeah. Oh, God, baby, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Don't worry about God, it. You must think I'm so crazy. Oh, no, no, no. How about we go get some dinner and let's forget all about this? Okay, that sounds nice. Pizza? Sure. How about we bring in some Little Caesars? What? No, that place sucks. What do you mean it sucks? Don't you eat there all the time? I literally never eat there, babe. What are you talking about? Then why do you call them so much? You mother f oh. I must say, I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. Is outer space like, is outer space gay or straight? Okay, so I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you ready? Yeah. Is outer space gay or straight? Every, practically everything we see and measure in space. Not only objects, but temperature, size, density is on a spectrum. So for you to say, is the universe gay or straight? I'm gonna tell you, whatever the universe is, it's on a spectrum. So it's bi. just mean if we had true equality you could call out women for doing something terrible when they're doing something terrible I like being a bitch see there's that word again maybe let's not no. use that yeah only women can use the word bitch because we took that word back right lady no bitch the gays took that from you okay i think we're off track all right later bro bye bro Not only am I famous, but I'm walking around a sequin top. So in case somebody hadn't recognized me, they're sure as shit gonna recognize me now. I met him through a good mutual friend of mine. A grinder. So are you more like feminine or are you more like masculine? Feminine, I can already tell when you open your mouth. <laughs> Do you guys see why I love him? He's so funny. Stop and tell me that this photo doesn't have you in an absolute chokehold because I am gasping for air every single day. It just runs through my mind at least two, three, four times a day in an absolute chokehold. And I, I love it. Keep me there. I don't want to leave. I think all football players should start wearing jock straps again. This photo is absolute proof. Mm -mm. You thought I was gonna let you finish? Not today. What's your sexual orientation? Straight. Same. Would you ever smash a guy? Oh. Oh no, they fucking. Yeah, actually, they already did. Mm-hmm. Right before they got there, they beating the crumbs off each other cookies. <clears throat> this is how to seduce your homie. Number one, eye contact. <sighs> well, this one's got a bit of resistance. Let's try number two body language. What the f*** are you doing? Oh, I didn't think it would come to this. Magnum!
Ask yourself this, do you think Olympic athletes train and practice or do you think they show up the day of expecting greatness? They train rigorously so that they don't blow that one opportunity. So why is it that men feel like they can just sleep with a woman without rigorously practicing with other men first? I know I do, and I will continue to. You know we not gay. We got the anti-gay shield going on. Oh, the Roman baths. If only they were filled to the brim with the gladiators and the rugby teams. That'd be a stew to join, wouldn't it, girl? You would be denied entry. <laughs> you little beep. Kyle, this is me as a girl. <laughs> Kyle, it's just a filter! Get off me! Why do gay men run like that? The gay run. It's a restrained jog with a low center of gravity and a little bit of drama. So why do homosexuals look like they're being chased by the Blair Witch in a library? What's the biological reason for gay men running like they have to catch a train and just got a BBL? The gay run has two evolutionary advantages. First, it deceives predators. Gay men have survived for ages by employing a theatrical run that's surprisingly quick. Hey, you haven't returned You are gay! Infusing predators into believing this would be easy prey based on body language, while being deceptively fast. It's why Dementors can't catch Dumbledore, and how Elton John got away from Eminem after their 2001 Grammy Awards performance. Second, it's a form of nonverbal communication, as to not scare off potential female besties. It says, Though I am running full speed at you, no need to be alarmed. I am a homosexual, and this is a safe space. However, there's probably a good reason why I'm running, and you better grab your shit, mama. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yo, Kevin, I'm kind of stressed again. No, 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 no. I'm not some sort of sheep whore. <clears throat> I see you next time. Just two dudes chilling in a hot tub. Dude, I just five feet apart because we're not gay. Why you can't understand that, Dad? I'm gay. What? What do you mean? Come back here, babe. A husband who was secretly romping with his father-in-law behind his wife's back has paid a terrible price after she discovered video clips of them having sex in a motel. First, the wronged wife posted intimate screenshots of their romps on her Facebook profile before smashing her husband's car windows. Then the father turned up at the family home and set fire to his lover's car after the son-in-law turned down his offer to become his new partner. The wife claims her father was paying her husband for sex. All three have since broken up. I'm your boy, right? Hmm? Wow, wow. And your boy wants to go to the party. How much does he want to go? Here's how to dance like a homosexual. You don't have to be a homosexual to dance like a homosexual. You can have a straight mind, but gay behind. Step number one, you're always going to act like you're wearing a cape. You're going to swish the cape. You're going to swish the cape. You're going to walk with a little extra oomph because you know that cape's going to go swish. You're going to bring the cape in front of you. All right, that's step one. It just feels absolutely amazing to finally spread my legs and be the person that I know I am. You just said spread your legs. I just said spread, <laughs> spread my wings. Step two, work on your runway walk. Models don't walk like this. Models walk with their feet in a straight line. You can even draw a line on the floor and walk with your feet on there. It makes your hips go extra swishy swish. Once you got that down, you add a little more attitude to it and you can just do walking and it's a dance move once you get your sassy model walk down, okay? So here's a model walk. Now let's add some homosexuality to it. We go, mm, 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 mm. Maybe bring your hand up. Now let's add the cape back in. 
Okay, we're gonna sassy model walk with a cape. Mm, 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 mm. That's how you do it. I filmed my leg workout, but when I watched it back, I noticed something. And finally, you're gonna add in some poses. Homosexuals love to pose. You're gonna put some arms up, you're gonna put some arms out. Make lots of triangles, triangles with your arms, triangles with your legs, whatever you're feeling. And now we're gonna add it all together, okay? Model walk, cape, and pose. We're gonna model walk in a bit of a circle. Pose, pose, swish that cape, and model walk. You've got it, honey. I'm not gay, but damn, you're good looking, bro. You don't have to be gay to appreciate a man's beauty. Nah, bro, I'd f you. Okay, never mind. Someone explained to me what non-binary was out there, and I was like, alright, I'm open to it, I'll hear it out. I still don't really get it. And it got to the point where I've heard it so many times that whenever I hear the word they, I think of non-binary people, which just made it so confusing when I talk to my conspiracy theorist friends. Because they'd be like, you know, they killed Kennedy. And I'm like, no wonder why they couldn't identify the shooter. <laughs> The boy who bullied me for being gay in middle school overdosed and died. <laughs> okay, Ben. It's me and Isabel. We're on the couch with you. We're all giggling. A man, a scary man, busts through the door. He doesn't have a gun. He just has a knife, but that's scary enough. And you have to defend us. He looks at you and says, get out of here. They're mine. What do you do? <laughs> what are you going to do to defend your friends? I will you get out. They're... <laughs> Tattoo on your chest, or is that semen? What is that? Is that dark semen? Shania Twain song? Oh my God, you're the gayest guy I've ever met. Holy shit! Oh my God, that's the gayest thing I've ever seen in my life. What's on his arm? Christina Aguilera. When did you move? When did you move here from Bangladesh? Uh, four years ago. Four years ago? I, are you happy with it? You sounded so sad. Four years ago. <laughs> I moved to USA two months ago, so I'm still unemployed. So you are on, um, you're on OPT. You have three years. The clock's ticking. <laughs> we know about this, right? We know about this. Are you like, are you sweating every day? Like you wake up, you're like, dude. Only 900 days left. <laughs> What did you hear? I'd rather not repeat it. Well, then I guess we'll never know. Who's uh, who's the citizen here? Make some noise. <laughs> All right. Do you guys know girls who are willing to find? <laughs> <laughs> like we need engineers in in America. You know, let them. They seem nice, right? Don't have to be girls. You do what? Don't have to be girls. girls. <laughs> Non-binary, asexual, whatever you have. He's, he's down for that. I like how open-minded you are. When, when the clock's ticking, everyone's just like that. <laughs>